you know I'm not a big fan of most transitions. Stick to a standard cut, fade, or even a slide transition to make your videos look professional. With that said, let's look at the new Whip Spin transition. To apply the Whip Spin transition, first open the Transitions tool on the left. Scroll until you find the Whip Spin transition, or filter for Objects. Drag the transition between two adjacent clips, like between videos or images. Play through the transition. You'll see it start with the first clip and do three quick revolutions before slowing and stopping on the second clip. If you want to see this in greater detail, then lengthen the duration of the transition. When you stretch it out to a few seconds, you can use the comma and period keys to move one frame to the left and right. You can choose whether to use trimmed content in the transition like you can with other transitions. Trimmed content includes the frames before and after a clip. You can either right-click the transition or look at the transition in the Properties panel to enable or disable the use of trimmed content. What I'm most excited about is the motion blur. When you look at most Camtasia animations, they're very clean. In other words, they perfectly move the image from one point to another point. I'm hoping that in the future, TechSmith will introduce motion blur as an animation option. With motion blur, animations will look more like we see at the movies.